whoever finds this letter, it's been nearly five years. Nearly five years since a letter, just like this one, turned my world upside down. I moved to New York City right after college. I didn't expect something like depression would meet me in those city streets. That's the thing about depression, though. You don't get to tell it when it comes and goes. It's an illness. That depression came to meet me, and to try to cope, I started writing letters to strangers of this city. I started leaving them across Manhattan. I filled them with stories, questions, hopes. All the words I could not give myself at the age of 22. Those letters spiraled into something so much larger than me. So much bigger than a girl who was writing and leaving letters for strangers just because her mother had once done the same for her. That is always the most beautiful part of the story, though. When the story stops being all about you, and it has the chance to become the story that belongs to so many others. I spent a year writing letters to anyone who emailed me. Those hundreds of first letters laid the foundation for what is now a community of thousands of ordinary people writing to someone who needs encouragement. It's called More Love Letters. It's a place on the internet where you can read the stories of strangers and write to them. Your letter will be one in hundreds to show up at their door. At a time when they need a push, a nudge. A reminder to just keep going. Maybe that is you. Maybe you need the reminder today. Keep fighting. You deserve good things for your life. It sounds too simple, but it is amazing the number of people who believe that for other people, but not themselves. You deserve them too. All the good things. Don't, don't settle. settle. Don't, don't give, give in. in. This, this world, world needs you. you. Don't quit.